Hey hi, hello and welcome to yet another video and in this one I'm going to be showing you how to animate SF symbols. At WWDC 2023, Apple announced that you can now animate SF symbols right out of the box. No funny business, just straight up animations. In the previous years, we've seen the progression of SF symbols go from a plain monochrome symbol and then we started to see color and then we saw variable color and now we have built-in animations with SF symbols. In the near future, I do have a video planned on showing you how you can pretty much bring in your own symbols and turn them into animated SF symbols that you can use right out of the box with SwiftUI. It basically uses the same functionality, but let's get into it. I want to show you how to build something like this. As you can see, we have an SF symbol in the top right corner. And when I click on it, it starts to animate to show that it's downloading. And then once it's finished downloading, there you have it. We start off with a pulse animation and then lead straight into a replace animation where we replace with another symbol. I wanna show you exactly how to build that. So let's get into the code. Let's start off by making a new file. I'm going to call this SF symbol animation. Let's build out our UI real quick. It's going to be a V stack with an H stack for our text and our SF symbol, and then some text down the bottom. So we'll say something like 18 minutes and up the top, we'll have another text and then we'll create a button that'll house our SF symbol. This is where we have the action for when we click on the SF symbol. And then our label is going to be a simple image, system name, and I'm going to use the arrow down circle. I'm going to make sure it's resizable and give it a frame with a width and height of 24, 24. There we go. And if you want to see it a little clearer, you can make it bold. In between these two, I'm going to put a spacer so I can push it all the way to the edges. Boom. And then to push this to the edge, I'm just going to put an H stack, pop a spacer in here and boom all the way to the edges. Pop a background on here, make it a linear gradient. Our colors are going to be blue and purple. Start point top, end point bottom. And of course, to push it to the edges, we'll add a max height around our V stack. We'll add some padding, add a white background, add some padding on that. Around the corners, so we'll clip shape rounded rectangle and we'll make it 16 and we'll bold the text here. There we have it. Now we're ready to start animating this SF symbol over here in the corner. So the first thing we want to do is keep track of our download state. So let's say state var download state and we're going to say that this is equal to false. So as of right now, it's not downloading. Now to animate this, we're going to animate based on a download state. So let's go ahead and create a download state enum and then also a variable to keep track of the download state. Of course, that variable does need to be a state variable so that we can animate based on that. So let's create an enum and say download state. And then the first state will be cloud and then downloading and then downloaded. Then we'll create our state variable and this is going to be of type download state and we'll start off cloud, which means it's in the cloud, not downloaded yet. What we wanna do here is then say, when I click on it, my download state is going to be equal to downloading. And just to simulate the concept of downloading, I'm going to say dispatch queue dot main async after dot now plus two seconds. And once that's all done, we're going to say download state is equal to downloaded. And then we're going to change the state of our view based on the state of our download. So the first thing we wanna do is change the actual symbol that we have. So if the download state is not equal to downloaded, then we'll have the arrow down circle. Otherwise, we're going to have a completed. So this will be a checkmark circle. If I go ahead and give that a go, I click on it, it's downloading now. We don't have an animation for that. Boom, checkmark circle. Now, are you ready for how easy it is to add animations to our SF symbols? All we have to do is with our image, I'm going to add a symbol effect and I'm going to use the is active so we can control when it is active. The symbol effect here, I'm going to use pulse. The options, I'm going to say it's repeating and the is active will be when download state is equal to downloading. And then the last thing we wanna do is animate that replace. Now for replace, it's a little bit different, but there is something called a content transition now. So we're actually controlling how the content transitions because we're transitioning from one image to another. So with the content transition, I'm going to say then in here, 
symbol effect and the symbol effect here is going to be replace. Now what's cool about SF symbol animations is you can actually control the way they animate. I would really recommend opening up the SF Symbols app and playing around with the different animations. I would really recommend opening up the SF Symbols app and playing around with the animations. So if I click on any symbol here and I go to animate, I can then say preview and you'll see how it animates here. You've got whole symbol or by layer. You can see how it animates by layer or if I say whole symbol, the whole symbol bounces. Let's say we want variable color or not a good one to test out, but let's go with pulse. The whole thing animates like that and same with replace there you go see that it replaced there now you can play around with those i want it to rotate with the whole symbol and i also want to use the down up animation so it basically goes like this if you have a look down up 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 is an interesting one off up is a little bit more abrupt so i like down up and that's pretty much all you need to get this going because now when i click the button it's going to start animating and then it animates off. One thing you might notice if you look closely at the symbol as it's animating the pulse, it actually animates one layer at a time. But what I want is whole layer for this one as well. So the whole symbol. And so if I try again, I click on it, the entire symbol animates with it. You can actually create a duration. So if I said I want to make this three seconds, just so we can see the animation a little better. So it's animating the pulse and pops back up. Like you saw, it is so easy to animate SF symbols with the new SwiftUI updates. Now keep in mind that you do need to have Xcode 15, which only runs on macOS Sonoma, and these animations only work on iOS 17. But I still think it's worth investing time into playing around with these animations and adding them into future releases. So let me know what you guys think and what other animations you wanna see. I'm excited to be doing a whole bunch of animation videos on this channel, but let me know what you wanna see in the comment section below. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.